All right, you guys are here to see a desk and office transformation from this to this to this. What's up guys, I'm Mike Sasser, boudoir photographer in Los Angeles, California. And I used to be one of those people who would look at others the way they had to have everything set just so and the detail that they put into it and just think they were crazy, honestly. But now after putting together my own personal dream desk setup, I totally get how all of the details matter, especially for videographers and photographers. So I can't wait to share with you all of the changes I've made and maybe give you some ideas of what you can improve on your space as well. All right, so this is the full YouTube setup. So let me walk you through a couple of these things. Normally we've got the A7S III on here, but we're recording on that camera now. So this is just my other Sony. A couple of big things. I've got a dummy battery running to this, uh, to this camera, so it never runs out of battery. We've got the HDMI going directly into the computer. So the files live on the computer. They're immediately there. I don't have to transfer cards. Up here is a Godox light with the aperture light dome. Uh, this has been really amazing for just getting nice, good natural light on me. We also do a hair light over here that's giving me some separation from the background, as well as a couple things to highlight the plaque. And back here, just to give some ambiance here in the corners. Microphone, we've got a shotgun microphone. This is the Rode NTG uh, Plus, I believe. And that is the entire, you know, those are sort of all the pieces that make up this, this particular shot. So when I moved into this place, I had an iMac Pro that ran everything. That was my one screen. I put some work into making that kind of exactly how I wanted, but honestly never really got to the cable management properly. I mean, seriously, look at these wires and cables everywhere. I didn't use the sit stand feature of this desk because I didn't know if the wires were gonna get pulled out of where they needed to be. So I picked up the new MacBook Pro right when it was announced, really just thinking it would be a replacement to my travel computer. Five minutes after using it, I realized it was time to change the entire desk setup. And anytime I decide to get into something, I really get into something. So I watched probably 25, 30 different YouTube videos on desk setups and cable management and organization. And these three were the ones that influenced me the most in how I was going to set up my desk. Now those links are going to be in the description as well as pretty much everything that I show you in this video. And in order to get on top of that, I use a little app called Millinote. So Millinote is an amazing software. It's basically pins, uh, pins on a board. This is what I use to be able to organize. You can take these and move them anywhere. You have the ability to change the color of the top of it here, um, a card color. So this is how I kept track of for an extra USB charger iPhone charger, micro charger, lightning cable. These are all USB A's. These are all USB C's. I was able to organize the speakers and then you can just draw right on here to connect them. So anything that's red is power. My UPS, this is my 112 uh, terabyte external drive. We need the Thunderbolt port that's connecting everything together. So this is the software that I used to stay organized, to type in all the different applications that I needed to focus on my cable management, what I was going to need, all the different plugins that I needed to transfer to my new computer. So I cannot recommend this software enough for any kind of planning for a photo shoot coming up or a project like this. Now that I had some idea of where I wanted the cables to be and go, the next thing I had to do was replace my white desktop. It was nice and clean, but I always felt it was really sterile. So I ended up going with this walnut top. This desk is made from uplift. So I basically just reordered the exact same tops that I had on my previous desk but now in a walnut color to give it a darker, more modern and more interesting look. Now that I got the desktop up, it was time to figure out how I was actually going to run the wire management. One of the videos I found suggested this track is a three inch by three inch wire tunnel. I spray painted it black and I cut it down to where I could run one side on the front and then a little bit on the side to just help out with any cables that needed to go over there. 
Like I said, the problem with the last sitting standing part of the desk is that I never knew which wires would be pulled out, which ones would get caught. So in order to really make this work, I got this tip from Becky, from Becky and Chris's channel. I think she got it from somebody else. But in order to properly measure out the cables so that they don't pop out of wherever they are, the desk needs to be raised up to its highest position that you will be. And from there, you attach everything under your desk, your power, your cables, your wiring, absolutely everything. And then have those all join into one cable or one set of cables that goes down to where your power is going to be. In order to keep everything mounted under the desk so that it wouldn't fall, I mostly use this Scotch Mount Indoor Outdoor Extreme Tape. This is really intense and heavy duty stuff, but I found it was pretty much the only thing that I could find that would actually hold everything to the desk without kind of getting hot and losing its stickiness. One of the other ways I wanted to optimize space on this desk was to get rid of the monitor stand that was just right in front. I always felt like I wasn't able to adjust the monitor to where I wanted it to or all that desk space underneath the monitor wasn't really used. So I got this Ergotron LX monitor mount that attaches to the back of the desk and that has really been amazing for allowing me to just move this guy wherever it is that I want. Now that I've had it for a couple of days, it's working very well. I'm really happy with it. The other product I used to keep all of the cables organized were these tie clip holders. Uh, they're adhesive on one side and then you're able to feed them through here and it will lock those cables in place. Some areas I needed to use two of these side by side in order to get the right strength. Uh, yeah, I used probably a zillion of these and they were a lifesaver. All right, so after about a million tweaks and getting everything exactly the way I want it, let's go through and I'll walk you through each and every piece and product that I bought for the desk that made me more productive or cleared out the space or became more efficient for this workspace. Hopefully it'll give you some ideas on how you can improve your space as well. So let's start with the centerpiece of this setup, which is probably the monitor. So after trying out two other monitors, I finally caved and got the Apple XDR. I really wanted a 32 inch screen that was bright enough for this room because when the sun comes in, it gets really intense. It makes it very difficult to see the screen. And this was the only one that really fit that bill. But if you don't need a 32 inch screen and you don't have a room that's especially bright, then this monitor is really gonna be overkill for pretty much everything. The next thing, of course, powering everything is the M1 Max MacBook Pro. Now for about five years, I've had both a desktop and a laptop set up because laptops weren't powerful enough to run everything that I wanted to consistently. But now that I'm down to just one computer setup, wow, has it been amazing. One of the things that makes this setup amazing is that there is only one cable attached to the MacBook. That cable connects the external hard drive, the monitor, all the peripherals, and that means that this whole setup is possible with a Thunderbolt hub. The one I use is from OWC. It hasn't been perfect, but it's definitely getting the job done. And it makes coming into the office incredible for me to just set my laptop down, plug it in, and have everything all connected and ready to go instantly. So previously I was using a wired Logitech mouse. It had 12 customizable buttons and it definitely made things easier for video editing, but I decided to simplify to this one. It's got this crazy spinny wheel for scrolling that's been amazing, plus some custom buttons. It's wireless, you know, it's, it's a mouse. When I'm working a little bit later in the evening, it's been difficult to find a lighting solution that doesn't take up desk space, that isn't blocked by my hands or shoulders, that doesn't only light up one side of the desk. So I found this BenQ light bar and wow, is it perfect. It lights up the entire area, it doesn't affect the screen and it doesn't take up any space. If you get work done in the evenings, I cannot recommend this enough. If you're a photographer or video editor, you understand how important it is to be efficient with all of your tasks. I made a video a while ago on a gamepad that saved me editing time. The problem was every time I updated my computer software, something went wrong with that gamepad. So my friend suggested this keyboard, which is called the Moonlander. So here is the settings at which you would make all of the changes. We're only focusing on the left one here. I've got a key for white balance, for gradient, for undo. R is crop, so we can click this and we can name it crop. Q is the spot removal, so we can say spot removal. And this is how you'll be able to go through and change any of the keys that you like. If you need this to be, let's say the T key, you could just tap it as T. And now anytime you click this button, it will be replaced with the T key. And the reason why this speeds up my workflow so much is that I never have to take my eyes off of the screen. 
Each shortcut I could need is within one key of where my fingers are resting. Here's a few bonus things around the desk for wireless charging for my AirPods and other miscellaneous things. I picked up this Nomad charger. I chose it because it's got a bunch of coils and can charge three devices at a time. I don't have to worry about their lined up correctly. I can just toss it on the pad and know that it works. Tell me if you're like me. I've tried a ton of ways to keep myself focused on the main tasks of the day, and I struggle to make sure that I knock those out. I've really enjoyed this note set from Unmonk. The notes are front and center, they're super clean. When I really need to make sure something gets done, I'll give myself specific times of day to complete those tasks, and it feels really good to scratch them out, give myself a pat on the back for getting something done. To keep things stylish and organized, I got this catch-all from Oaky Wood. Holds pens, my lighter, kind of anything I might need. I saw this in somebody's video, and honestly, I thought it was a little overkill, but now that I've had it, I think it's amazing. On the edge of my desk, I've run three cables, a lightning, a USB-C, and a micro that are ready to charge whatever I have on my desk. So my keyboard's low, slide that out, charge the keyboard real quick. My mouse, I can pull the USB out, charge that real quick. Anything else miscellaneous that might be, I've got a cable that is going to be ready to knock it out. It's really been a nice little bonus. Okay, so maybe I went a little over the top with power. I've got a couple power plugs that are on top of the desk there in the corner in case I need to charge anything, plug anything in. And also, if there's ever a reason for somebody to put their laptop on the desk, I've got another set of power plugs right under the desk they'll have easy access to as well. All right, a couple of bonus ones. The charging station here for all of my cameras, drones, stabilizers, batteries. I put together this charging station that I found on another YouTube video, and I cannot tell you how nice it is to know exactly where all your batteries are, to know that they will be charged when you need them. I'll add that video link to the description so that you can go check out and make one yourself. If you didn't think I could get any more organized, I have these plastic labeled drawers to make it extremely easy to find anything I might need. This includes mounting accessories, cable accessories, different types of computer cables, hard drives, audio, lens accessories, and more. I'd highly recommend doing this. It'll take you a little bit of time up front, but then every day for the rest of your life, you'll know exactly where everything is. And then the final touch to tidy up the cables was this plant from Etsy. It's fake. I couldn't keep this alive for two weeks if you gave me the chance. And then to add to some of the vibe while I'm working at night, I got these cool lights from Govee to give it a little bit of an extra vibe while I'm getting work done. So share with me in the comments any desk productivity tips that you have, anything that you saw in this video that you're gonna pick up to help with your productivity in your office, at your desk. You know, it's so funny how fun it is to like work really hard on making everything as perfectly productive as you possibly can, but actually getting things done is less fun. So you're like, I'm gonna do every single little thing I can possibly do to make sure that I'm gonna be super productive and not waste any time and I'm gonna spend hours doing that. And then once it gets time to actually do it, it makes it a little tougher. Now that everything is perfect exactly the way I want it, time to get to work. Probably. Oh,